hi developer so now we will uh, create user login ui in application and we will start with the making login form after that we will make a toggle option between uh, user sign up and uh, login and we need to add some style also for uh, 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 toggle option and maybe uh, some style for login form also and after that we will collect login form value inside a function so that in next part we will uh, directly send this value to the api and we need to adjust uh, some footer part also because if we have a scroll in our application then footer is not working properly for a moment and we will fix it and now let's jump on a code and uh, create login form first so i'm just closing all of these uh, uh, files we don't need for them and we will just uh, opening a user authentication uh, html part and here you can see that currently we have only sign up option so so that we can just save our time i am just copying this uh, content and creating one more div here and inside that div we can just uh, differentiate with the class name let's say sign up uh, and with the same way we can create one more div there and we can say that uh, class login all right and we can paste the same content that is this content is basically belong to the belong to the uh, sign up area and we will just paste this content inside the login also but now we have to make some changes in login area so we can just say that for h1 tag user login and after that we can change the form name also let's say the form name is user login and after that we can uh, send the value of user login form to uh, our function and we have to change this function also i'm just making it login to sign up and we need to create this function otherwise it will give error so simply create a login form there and uh, we will get this data as a parameter so data and the type of data will be login and this will be imported from uh, you can see that data type file right here we just define the interfaces and here we can just make console data all right so next thing is um, we can again just jump on the user log authentication component and we don't need this uh, uh, username field there right because for login email and password are enough and let's change the uh, text of button also like uh, login and now you will find that uh, we have two forms and footer is actually just uh, coming inside that both of uh, these uh, form so let's fix that footer fun once so for that let's open footer.css dot file and uh, let's just change the position with the uh, fixed after that uh, you can just uh, uh, put the background color also background color could be triple f and i think now it, it will be look like a uh, bit better this is fine now but now that we have another another issue like uh, the form is not completely visible there so we have to just fix that also so for that again just close this come to the user auth cs part so just add up one more class there which is uh, margin bottom could be 100 pixel and i think that will be fix our css issue uh, hidden ui issue and now this is properly visible but now you can just see that on a single page the two forms are there like sign up and login form are both are there so this is not a, a good ui sense right so what we will do that we will make a toggle button to just hide and show that uh, login form and sign up form so for that let's uh, just come back on again on the user authentication component and create a link there so you know inside a form and at the last i am creating a p tag and i'm just putting there already have account right let's make a anchor tag there and just say that click here and on up anchor tag we can just say that a click event and uh, here i can just make a function with the name of open sign up right we will define this function but before that let me create one more similar tag at the last of login form and here we can see that 
uh, okay so here we just need to make the open because this is sign up form so we have to just simply put there open login right login page and here we will open the sign up and here we can just change this text like uh, want to create account and that is pretty much okay so now we need to create these two functions so let's okay we need one property also but before that let's uh, define two functions open sign up and the uh, second one that we want to create which is uh, open login right so now we need a property i'm just creating a property with the name of let's say show login and by default value could be let's say boolean and by default value will be true right and now inside these uh, two functions we can change this value this dot show login function is false in our case and if we have we are just clicking on a login then we can see that this dot show user is true right okay so now let's just uh, make ng if condition inside our html part so on that uh, div with sign up class let's create star ng and we will open it if uh, ng if right and we will open it if login area is not visible because this is the sign up area and you can copy this condition and put in the uh, in the case of login also and there we have to check that if show login is true then it should be visible and by default you will find that uh, uh, login area is visible and if i'm just clicking over to create a new new account a user sign up area is also opening that is wonderful but the, the click here is not actually just populating in a different color so what i'm going to do again i am just putting uh, some css inside the user auth dot a color could be a uh, blue wallet and uh, cursor, ca cursor can be pointer there right and now let's check okay so this is a uh, little bit better we can just see that uh, click login here so if i'm just clicking on the login button you will find that we are getting the value of login form inside the uh, login function right because we already made a console there so if i'm just clicking over there you can see that we are getting the value so so if i'm just putting here some wrong values let's say a b c and x y z this is also just console there so this is working fine next part we will integrate the uh, login api also so thank you so much for watching this part and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share your valuable feedbacks thank you guys thank you for your support